So recently being quite busy has created a bit of a beggars can't be choosers situation with my rides. So I am riding out in rush hour traffic, but I am trying to keep it to roads like this. So hopefully we'll stay away from other vehicles and we get to talk about how to actually ride these roads rather than how to negotiate traffic. We've got some pedestrians on the left, so I am moving as far as I can to the right, slowing it down, keeping it mindful of how loud the new exhaust is being, by the way. But look at this goddamn view. Cool, so uh, this is a bit of a location where there's a lot of side roads connecting little villages. I've got nowhere to be. I've got nowhere to go to, so it's all about just getting up to a T-junction and uh, just guessing where we're going to go next. So first T-junction coming up, we're going to go left. Um, I follow those signs that show me that it is going to be another road like that. And I try to follow the tiny little villages that I know around here rather than following the big ones. Remember that if you like this video, drop me a like because it helps a lot. A subscribe means a lot, uh, but let's do this. So a bit of water on the floor. I'm keeping it nice and low, 50, 60 mile an hour. Blind turns again, so I'm keeping to my side of the road and really thinking about upcoming traffic. Slightly open road, so nice and confident through here. Slight left. Slowing down, keeping away from shit like this. Slowing right down. Quick shoulder check just in case there's a dum dum. And carrying on. Blind right. So here I'm slowing right down. I'm avoiding the crap on the left. Slowing down for the mud. The reason I'm slowing down for the mud is because that was a turn. So if I get swung out from the tire tracks into the middle where all the mud is collecting, I'm going to lose it. So I'd rather slow it down, enjoy the ride for a little bit longer, rather than lose traction on those crowns of the road where things collect up, just like you see here. Again, that's fine, because it's a straight, so I don't need to worry too much. But it's when you're doing a turn and not thinking about those collections of the mud that you're gonna be sorry. God damn, look at this beautiful sunset. I've got another junction sign coming up so this time I'm gonna go left again and I might know these roads a little bit so that helps me know which way to go nice and open through here slowing it right down dropping down the gear watching the squirrel again it might seem like I'm going fast but I am keeping it at around 40, 50 miles an hour, which for my skill level, personally, I find quite manageable, especially given that I'm being very mindful of my ride. So we've got a pedestrian again, slowing it right down, being mindful, right shoulder check away from them, straight back into the left to allow any oncoming traffic. And we've got a right and then a left warning sign with a slow sign on the floor, lots of debris on the ground. Got a dog, and again, my loud pipes, so just trying to be a little bit more mindful of that situation. Get a bark or two telling me off. There are ways to make them quieter if I don't load up the engine so much, so go into a higher gear, it goes a little bit quieter. But then what you gotta remember is gearing down. Where are we going now? All right, let's go right. We've done two lefts. This looks like a bit of a main road, 30 mile per hour speed limit. So we're gonna keep it in a high gear to keep that engine rumble sweet. And looking up ahead, we've got a bit of farm uh, vehicles, slowing it down just in case they need to get a bit of a wider berth on things. And as we get past our hazard, we can speed it back up. Right shoulder check as we go around the parked van on the left. And I'm looking right through the turn again, making sure there's no incoming traffic. There's 
very unlikely to be traffic there if there's cars in front of me going around the same obstruction, but you never know. I wouldn't ever assume it's safe just because someone else has gone. Right at the roundabout. And again, this is why I wanted to avoid these main roads. Well, main er roads. Because this is both boring for you to watch and boring for me to ride. So as soon as we can, we're going to find a tiny side road to get into. That one on the right is very likely to be a housing estate, so uh, we're not going to waste our time with that. It's when we get to the national speed limit roads, we're looking for lefts and rights to get out and away from poor pet, or whatever his name is. So really thinking about this, I do think I'm a little bit too close, so I am going to create a little bit of a bigger gap. Again, trying to be very mindful of what I'm doing rather than just assuming nothing's going to happen in front of me. We have had one or two squirrels jump out already. There we go. We're going to take a right here into that cool looking road over there. There's a road closure sign saying on the 16th, so we don't have to worry yet. And look at this debris on the road. No way am I going to be going crazy on this. Unless spinning spinning the back wheel is something you like to do for fun I guess uh, there we go that car taking up a bit of the road another pedestrian in the road and a humpback bridge with a blind exit so taking it nice and slow over the bridge see the road up ahead so I can open it up a little bit but I'm still keeping to the left and a bit of a right turn with the sun blinding me so I'm going to slow it down well big hole in the road back to the left through to the left nice long turn more debris in the road it's just mud and leaves. That's what you got to think about in the autumn months. There we go. Nice and thin road. Don't know about nice, but it's definitely thin. Narrow is the right word, I think. Open it up again. See, I think these bikes, these Royal Enfields are made for this, these kinds of roads because this is no way uh, an aggressive bike. But it's very, very, very nice to ride. Nice and slow blind turn to the right. I'll turn with a nice view to the left. Again, I'm being very, very mindful of the debris in the road. So this is where we turned left earlier. We went up there. So we're just going back the way we came. Made a bit of a loop. Nice and open road. A bit of front brake there before that one. And then as we come out of the turn, we can open it up over the hill with the sun blinding me again. So that's why I had a little of my hand on uh, the front brake. Going through. Open road again. But being mindful of that turn, so I'm already slowing down because I know it's wet. I know there's debris. I'm taking it nice and slow. Nice and light to the left. Going through some buildings. So I'm thinking about concealed entrances, vehicles coming out, being ready for a reversing tractor or whatever it might be. We went past a few of those on the way here too. Turning right, keeping to the left to allow myself a good view and a good escape route should someone be bombing it down. Slightly wet roads, debris in the road. So we're going around it nicely. Turning to the left, that was another place we came from. So this time we're gonna go this way. Almost headbutting that hedge. Nice and close to the hedge here. 
as the car goes past. Keeping it nice and steady on that throttle over the turn with the wet leaves. God damn. If you don't... If you don't lose it, if you don't get a bit impatient... No, again, if you don't get scared of that wet patch with the leaves on it, uh, you don't ride a bike. There is no way, that's your worst enemy. So you really have to be mindful of how you go through it. No changes, no immediate changes in the throttle. No smacking on the brakes, no smashing on the brakes, front brake, back brake, whatever it is. You need to have your entrance speed nice and controlled on your approach that turn. We've got a, a railroad crossing coming up. No lights. But I don't trust that shit, just in case there's some human error somewhere. So I still slow down. I look both ways and then I go over. I couldn't care less what that says. There's no way I'm getting hit by a train. And it's not something you have to worry about because it's unlikely to be a railroad crossing at 60 miles an hour. You're not slamming your brakes on, you're just approaching it slowly, mindfully thinking about the wet patches you've been driving over, thinking about the iron that's going to be wet and slippery. We're on our bike, so we need to have a bit more of a mindful approach to things like that. So here, obstruction in the road on the right turn, so no way am I swinging out and going as if there's nothing going to be coming up. We're going to follow this uh, black car in front of us, and again, joining a main road, so a little bit less fun than what we just did. hill starts so as I'm on a hill I'm holding my back brake on that allows me to control my throttle properly rather than holding on with the with the hand and then trying to throttle up on my start that's uh, that's not what you want to do think oh, if you're a car driver think of that back brake as your hand brake on a hill start then when I'm ready rolling that throttle on very gently finding my biting point and releasing that clutch uh, releasing that back brake sorry so back brake on waiting for my gap which might happen next week I might need to just focus and try and get going because I can oh there we go someone let us through thank you very much so again throttle on biting point release the back brake if you struggle with hill starts or you worry about them before your test or whatever it might be, go to a car park with a bit of an incline, practice them. Practice them on your 125. Ask your instructor to help you practice them. Because there's nothing more nerve wracking than uh, losing the bike on an uphill. Because they are heavy, they are heavy. That's it for today, so what we're going to do is I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to park in here, sort the GoPro out. I will see you in the next video. Remember to drop me a comment if there's anything you have to say, if there's anything you thought was new that you've never heard before. Maybe I did something totally dumb that you would think, oh, I would never do that. Yeah, get in touch. Let's talk about this. Let's be better riders. Until the next one, peace.